What do girls never tell guys? That women also often bottle up their feelings and are afraid to be vulnerable around others. Sometimes we think men are pretty. Pretty as in the way your eyes are shining in the sunlight reminds me of fireflies or your lips look plump and soft and the way your brow furrows when you are concentrating makes me smile. But we also know men don't typically like being called pretty because they'll think we don't see them as men. Like we're feminizing them, but I cannot express how much I wish I could call men pretty without upsetting them. Sometimes we're really scared to talk to you too. I don't know if this is for all girls but from my own personal experience, when I vent, I don't want advice. I want someone who will listen and not judge. We remove hair a lot more than just our legs, bikini, and armpits. It differs for us all. Stomachs, sideburns, upper lip, chin, nose, nipples, chest, feet, toes, arms. Pretty much anywhere men grow hair. We got it. Always great when it's just peach fuzz. But not always the case. We know when you're staring. That we girlfriends discuss each and everything with each other. So, if you're flirting with two friends simultaneously, there is a high chance that both of them are laughing at your texts behind your back. We see that friend of yours that acts creepy to women and we judge you for keeping them around. You're not a good dude if you don't fix missing stares. That sometimes we're simps too lol. How badly we think you guys dress. You know, my wife does not keep this to herself. Your looks are almost never the problem when we don't want to go further with you. Our favorite bra doesn't get washed as much when I found my favorite I bought five of them. That way you can switch them out, which helps them keep their shape and you can wash them less often. That many men have been blessed with perfectly thick, long, luscious eyelashes and us girls are a bit jelly of that fact. Hormones not only mess with us during our period, but they mess us up the week before too. Premenstrual hormones, for me anyway, almost affect me more than the hormones during the cycle. Yeah, I hate it when I'm being emotional and someone asks if I'm on my period. No, by the time my period gets here I'm already back to normal. Are you starting soon? would be a more valid question. The tampon box in the closet is where I hid the good chocolate. On this topic, a rule of thumb to help my fellow men reading this, if she asks you to go to the store for tampons, buy her favorite junk food too. Just some wisdom I've picked up from a few years of being married. When we are on our period we can feel when a clot of blood comes out, but we don't randomly tell you guys because it might ruin the current conversation. What's best is when you are on your cycle sneeze too hard and the clot passing feels like you birthed a jellyfish. The reason why we don't want you to go down on us, usually it's because we don't feel clean. We hold our boobs when running down the stairs. My wife confirmed a post I saw a while back on Reddit that I never knew. Apparently, when a girl farts, sometimes the fart rolls into their vagina instead of backwards. You'll never be the same now, and sometimes the fart bubble kind of gets stuck there, so you have to squeeze your legs or shuffle on your seat to get rid of it. You're welcome. You do a little seat wiggle and it eventually works. It's way forward and kind of blup blup blups its way through the flaps. Sometimes we don't wash our bras for weeks. Reply. How many times I type out something to send and delete it all, never sending anything. We like to play with our boobs, too. We don't compliment you as much because we're afraid you'll think we're interested in you sexually. How much blood comes out and the jelly-like stuff during our periods? How painful taking out a dry tampon is. Feels like your insides are being scraped out. About the things that come out of our lady parts. There really is an entire variety of weird, Moist things that the vagina can just randomly conjure up. When I wear my hair in certain ways it means I've not gotten the chance to wash it in a while. Specifically what was discussed in the bathroom. That's like the perfect spot to talk about everything. I have never understood why you would want someone around when you're in the bathroom. Battle S. Lot of things to do with birth and babies. I was shocked at how little my BF, who has only brothers, 
knew about birth and he was shocked at how much I did know. Realized it's because mothers, aunts, sisters, female cousins, friends, and co-workers will get into the details around other women but if there's a man around it's hand waved. E.g. I had to pump for two hours yesterday, it was so painful cause. My nipples are chapped and bleeding and some blood got in the milk so it's a bit pink. Look I took a photo. Apparently it's fine. He's having issues latching. One time I finally got him to latch and then I had to s so I had to s while feeding him and I have hemorrhoids from the birth so wiping was so difficult and so painful I started crying. Man walks in yeah feeding can be tricky. My favorite or most flattering jeans will be reworn with different shirts forever, until they rip or I can't fit into them anymore. That hopeful jokes about taking the dirt track when the river runs red are laughably naive. When your stomach is rock hard, bloated and tender to touch, cramps like your insides are being pulled out and you're actually sore from how vigorously your bowels have decided to move the second the other exit started endlessly bleeding I can tell you now. The last thing want is a cock rammed up my arse. The demonic rituals we did as children at sleepover say happy cake day. We have butt hair. And sometimes nipple hair too. That we sometimes just don't know why we're mad or upset. Hormones can be depressing. Even if we're in our 30s and been dealing with this s for ages. Sometimes we'll just be a little bit less ourselves and feel sad. Saying nothing is wrong is maybe easier than saying I don't know what tf is wrong. What do you need? Is what my husband asks and it really helps. It's either cuddles or to be left. Alone for the whole day. We bleach our underwear with our discharge. We keep them sometimes for our periods. Where we put our boobs when we're done with them. We definitely have twisted our cooch hair at least once if it's grown out enough lol. When we first meet you and you lightheartedly share with us all the kind of girls you are into we remember it throughout the whole relationship and then sometimes wonder if you'd rather be banging an Asian or redhead with bigger tits. Women love butts. Women absolutely love men's butts. Women want men with nice butts. When our period is over, if they found out that I'm on my period yesterday I'm not telling them it's over today, I can use it as an excuse for not going out or exiting bed. Got an extra pillow for something other than sleeping. I have a pillow that I sleep with between my legs because I can't stand my thighs touching. Call it my snuggle pillow. Why we always have our friends follow us to the bathrooms. Well, why? A lot of us have one bigger boob than the other, or one bigger butt cheek than the other, and we overthink it a lot, at least I do. Whenever I wear cropped shirts, I ask my friends if my boobs look okay. And whenever I am wearing leggings I am scared that someone will see the difference even if it is a very small difference. Most people I know who are interested in guys will agree that we don't get too concerned about looks in general, though we will all have preferences, but we definitely notice how you smell. Female hormones enhance sense of smell, and I know I am like a bloodhound. I smell everything, and there are emotional responses to smell. A clean guy with average, or below average, looks as well ahead of the sexiest man on earth if there is even the slightest hint of funk. I don't like scented stuff like Axe Spray but I want to smell the soap. Sometimes the wetness is just discharge also if our vaginas are tight it's because we're not actually turned on. I love when the wax hits my butthole when LIM getting waxed. First time I got my b-hole waxed I was anticipating a lot of pain, like how painful the vagina was two minutes prior. I was wrong. The b-hole waxing feels great.